Hey folks, this is Slash, and we are playing Kerbal Space Program today. You may remember last time we successfully got to the moon and back with Jebediah Kerman and retrieved a significant amount of science as a result. So we're going to start this episode off by hitting up the R&D department and seeing what kind of parts we can unlock with our 361 science is what we've got right now. So let's see, in this tier we have uh, some additional parts here. Looks like a bigger fuel tank. Nothing too exciting. What do we got here? We got some winglets. Um, let's see, a probe cockpit it looks like. A different... Oh, an inline reaction wheel. Okay. Here we've got... Ooh, battery pack. The Science Junior. And a new... Antenna, which I think transmits better or, you know, at a lower penalty. Like, you can transmit something that was 40%, like, you know, 50% or something along those lines. So, I think we're going to go ahead and grab that one to start. Now let's take a look at this tier. We've got a bunch of fuel stuff, including RCS, which is very, very good, and... The external fuel ducts, which let us do the asparagus staging. So I definitely want that. Without even looking at anything else. Let's take a look here. Advanced construction. We've got some plane parts, some other fuel tanks, another decoupler, an adapter, another decoupler. Nothing too exciting there. Uh, this is all space plane stuff. What do we got here? Electrics. We did know about electricity before inventing spaceflight. The big breakthrough here was combining the two. Let's see, we've got uh, solar panels and lights. I think this is going to be a very good investment. Let's take a look what we got down here. We've got ladder and thermometer. Uh, let's see, and we've got some landing pieces. <laughs> I love reading the descriptions. Uh, what else do we got here? We got uh, some additional fuel tanks and whatnot. What did we get with the RCS? We got this and that. Okay. Uh, what do we got here in terms of charge? We've got some more battery packs and some more electric Panels. I think that might not be a bad idea. Oh, that's 160 science. We don't have enough for that. This stuff is all 160. So we're talking about coming back here and grabbing one of the 90s or maybe grabbing both of these 45s. Hmm, I think I'm going to do that. Because I do want this extra fuel tank. I think that's a good idea. And then what do we have here? Heavy rocketry. Oh, we've got... The, the Poodle liquid engine. That's amusing. Okay, and then what was this down here? This was all aerodynamic stuff, but it does have this probe uh, command module that you can send up robots, which I'm, I'm not... Uh, I would not be dissatisfied with that idea. What do we have down here? No, nothing. Hmm. Some additional... EVA type parts. They're self-deploying astronaut mobility enhancement devices. I don't know what you mean by ladders. Hmm. What do we got left? We got 90 science, which means we can grab one of these guys. Um. I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. Just because I like having additional options available to us. Alright, let's go into the PAB and let's take a look at what our options here are. Alright, what we're going to work on today, I think, is try and get it Jeb to Minmus. And we're going to call this one... Um... Aspiration 1. 
and we will see what we can come up with here. Here it is, the finished Aspiration 1. I hope <laughs> I'm not super confident in the fact that I got this right. But we shall see what happens when it's time to deploy it. I'm just going through, oh gosh. Okay, we need this for sure. I was just about to say, I was just going through to make sure that I had all of the pieces added that we need, but of course I forgot. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got Science Junior we got to work in here somehow. Um, all right, let's see if we can manage to fit it in there. Although that messes up my RCS tank placement. I had placed the RCS tanks with the uh, center of mass turned on when it was just this top portion. And now I just gonna have to wing it. Actually, you know what? That's not letting me place it. Hold on, let's get rid of that stuff for now. Put the center of mass on. Get the RCS tanks. Center of mass is now here. Won't let me place them. There, let me place them there. I think that's probably gonna be close enough. Not sure what the problem was. Oh, they're way off center, too. What in the world? Alright, hold on. Let's rotate that way. Okay. Hopefully... Why does that look so weird? Oh, because I have other things in three... 3 by symmetry. Now, why did I put... Now, that one's on in 4. Is it because... Are these on in 4? Yeah, they were on in 4. What in the world is going on here? Why is that not looking right? Okay, now that makes sense. Weird. I'm going to move these down a little bit. Purely for aesthetics. Let's hook this back on. Looks like it preserved my staging, which is good, because staging this was a pain in the butt. Very difficult to stage. Right, hopefully the Science Junior will stay attached whenever we uh, parachute down. We're going to attach the... You know what? We're going to attach four. Because we can. I don't think that's going to break it. Well, maybe it will. Let's just attach two. I see no reason to attach more than... Well, let's attach three. Because if I attach it like so... That keeps the hatch... For... Nah. <laughs> I keep going back on what I want to do. I think it'll be safer if I just attach two here on the sides. Like I've been doing. All right, let's save that, and what is this? Oh, this is the new comms. Oh, I didn't have to use this dinky thing. Let's attach this on to the back of the Science Junior and make use of it that way. All right, well, I think that's gonna do it for the setup. Hopefully this thing flies. I have no solid rocket boosters on it for this first attempt. I'm hoping that I've got... Why is that in the ground? That's better. <laughs> I'm hoping that I've got enough power down here in this asparagus staging. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Let's head to the launch pad. Who do we have flying us today? Jebediah, of course. Oh, uh, do I have any action groups that I need to set up? Not really. The lights, I think, are already set up. The gear is already set up. 
Don't need to do anything particular with the RCS. Uh, I'm not going to bother setting an, a break, or an abort one, because we'll just revert. And to the launch pad. Alright, rocket's looking pretty stable on the launch pad, so I'm happy about that. We're going to throttle up to 100%, and then throttle down if we exceed 200 meters per second in the thickest part of the atmosphere. Alright, nothing for it but to try it. Here we go. Good luck, Jebediah. Launching in three, two, one, launch. It's a bit of a slow lift off, but we do have lift off. And the asparagus staging is working out well. The fuel tanks are depleting predictably. Hopefully I've got all the staging set up right, or we will have some issues whenever we uh, let go of our first set of fuel. I'm going to take a quick look out here. And set Minmus as a target. So, five point, so like six, uh, and what's the angle here? Uh, looks like we need to go north about six degrees. Oh. Uh. Stage game. There we go. Alright, we got a little rotation now. The SAS is attempting to compensate for. And overcompensate for. <laughs> it's not the fastest takeoff, but it's a very fuel efficient one. So far, I'm very happy with what I'm seeing here. Throttling back a bit to keep it under 200. And we're out of the thickest part of the atmosphere. I'm just going to go ahead and throttle it all the way back up. And we're going to start our gravity turn here. And I think we're going to aim up this way a little bit. So I think, by doing so, we're going to have a better match with Minmus Orbit. Oh, 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 oh. Let's put it right about here, shall we? And how is this making our orbit look right now? Uh, you know, I think... I think I did it right. Well, we'll make adjustments later if necessary. Apoapsis is looking good. Gonna keep this attitude for now. Monitor our resources. This ship may be a bit over-engineered, I realize. Hmm, I don't think pitching over made much sense, actually. I may have made things more difficult for myself as a result. But I don't think it's going to be too difficult to resolve. Electric charge is great right now because of the battery packs, and they are recharging, I notice, from the solar panels, which is even more fantastic. All right, let's prepare for our burn. And start the burn. And jettison those guys. Looks like we timed it about right. We're a little bit late. 
on the burn, but I'm pretty happy with it. There go our pieces <laughs> out that way. And Jebediah is thrilled. Thrilled! Let's observe the mystery goo. And transmit. Not that it's going to be worth a whole heck of a lot with the transmission, but why not? We got all this electric charge. Why not use it? 0.8 science. Masterful. <laughs> all right. Our next task is going to be getting to Minmus. So, how are our nodes? Horrible! Our ho nodes are horrible. Let's see if we can't fix those. You know, I think actually, before we do that, I think it's actually easier to fix the nodes. Oh, wow. I, yeah, I burned in completely the wrong direction, didn't I? Uh, I think it's easier actually to fix the nodes if you're further out. So, I think we're going to go ahead and push our apoapsis up to say 500 kilometers. So we're going to do that. <laughs> there we go. So let's get ourselves lined up for that one. And then we'll circularize and then we'll look at adjusting our nodes when we have a little bit more room to maneuver. Although, what is the Minmus altitude is 46,000. Eh, might not be, it might be worth just burning out quite a distance here and seeing what we get. All right, we are 40 or so <laughs> seconds out from our periapsis. It keeps jumping all over the place. So we're just going to go ahead and start now and see what kind of effect we can have on this. We're going to keep an eye on that. While we're keeping an eye on this. Actually, let's go for like maybe half our fuel or so. I think we started somewhere around 500, so maybe we'll go down to about 250. All right. Cut off the engines at 251. Puts our apoapsis at 1100 or so. Now we just have to get around to the other side of the planet and speed or push that out. Actually, you know what? We're not going to bother with that. I changed my mind. We're not going to bother with that. What we're going to do instead is we're going to just adjust our ascending node from here right away. By doing this. Whoop. There we go. That seems like it's pretty much dead on now. Can I click on the tag and... No, I guess that doesn't work for that. But I like it. I like that change. So we're going to aim for that next. That's a 20 second burn. All right, we're coming up on our burn here in about 10 seconds. To put us on the same orbital plane as Minmus. And burn. And stop. Perfect maneuver. Look at that. Ascending node. Zippo. Now, the big thing is trying to figure out at what point to burn to push us out towards Minmus. Turn that off. So, Let's try at the periapsis and see how close that gets us. Oh, 
Oh, okay, we got something. Closest approach, and here's the target's position at approach. So we need to burn a bit earlier. We missed it. Okay, oop. Uh, okay, that seems to be getting further away, actually. What am I doing wrong? Okay, let's try aiming off in this direction, then. Oh, that's better. Oh, oh, there we go. There's an encounter. That's got a Minimus Periapsis of 260 or so. And I think that that is going to do the job quite nicely. So we are going to do our burn when we get around to there. And that burn's going to be off in this direction. So we're going to get lined up on it while we're swinging around the planet. All right, I think we're going to start this next burn uh, here in about the T-minus one minute mark, because I'm not sure how much fuel we're going to have in here for the full burn. I want to give myself a little extra time, and I don't think that's going to cause any problems with our rendezvous with the satellite Minmus. So let's switch over here to the orbital view and fire. Put the SAS on. And out we go! Gonna be jettisoning this fuel very shortly. So far, so good. Let's start the next burn. Watching this estimation meter here. Um, hmm. We don't appear to have gotten a proper encounter here. Did we blow right past it? That is a possibility. Okay, hold on. Let's, uh... Let's do some on-the-fly adjustments here. Right now, it's saying our closest approach is 10,000 kilometers. Oh, the more I burn in that direction, the worse it gets. Okay, that's what I expected. So now we're going to spin around. Find our retrograde marker. And slow us down and hope to see if that brings us more in line with what we need to... Be in line with. So let's lock in on that right there and start our burn. Oh, it's not going to take a whole heck of a lot of effort here, is it? There we go. Now, what do we got? We got a Minmus Periapsis of nine. F whoa, 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 whoa. Jeez. Man, it takes very little effort at all. You know what, I'm going to put the RCS on. I'm going to fire backward. Oh, wow. Just tap that. All right, now we got a moon periapsis of 100 kilometers. And I am happy with that. I was just tapping the RCS thruster controls. And it was having a major difference out here. That's how far out we're traveling. You can affect some major changes over that distance by making small adjustments to your velocity from down here. And we've done that with an awful lot of fuel left in this tank, so I we may end up abandoning most of the, uh, the back end of the spaceship here. I was looking to try and get it in the sun, but uh, the sun's on the other side of Kerbin right now. <laughs> 